So you started using Framer and you notice that when you have a button on your website like this and you go to the right panel to add the border to it and you are trying to adjust the color, you notice that you can only add a solid color. You cannot change it to a gradient type. However, when you're trying to add a fill color to an element, let's say this is a fill color here, you can see these options on the top where you can change the color to any gradient. So why we don't have this option for borders? Well, I'm not sure. However, I can show you a way uh, that basically is a workaround so you can still have gradient borders on your elements in Framer. So my name is Nandi, this is Framer University and let's get started. So here we have this button on the canvas and as you can see, it has a fill color, which is blue and it doesn't have any border. So in order to create a gradient border for this button, we have to make sure that we have some additional elements within this button frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a frame right here. I'm just pressing F on my keyboard and drawing a frame. And then I'm going to change its color to something like white. And then I'm going to co hit command and X on my keyboard and then paste it within this button. So now, as you can see, it is a part of the flow and um, this button is a, is a stack. And all of these are now at a relatively positioned, so we can reorder them like this. But what I want to do is I want to control this frame um, separately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to absolute positioning. So now the text jumps back to the center and I can position this basically anywhere. So I'm going to center it with option H and option V. And then I'm going to use these pins and I'm setting them all to zero. And so this basically means that it will always try to keep this zero distance from the bottom, right, left and top of its parent frame, which is the button. So now I'm going to rename this frame to border because actually this will be the border of our little element. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the color a little bit. And then so now we can see that it is actually above the get started text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the get started text to have a style. So we're going to come here to style Z index and we're going to set a higher Z index. So for example, if this element has Z index four and this Z index one, it will basically mean that the higher Z index element will appear above the other. So now it is perfect. So we have this border, we can set any gradient color now on this. So let's say we want to have this nice gradient. Maybe we want to go from this white color to a little bit darker one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another frame here. So I'm drawing another frame again, again, hitting command and X and pasting it within this button frame. So now this will be again, absolutely positioned. We are centering it. And now we're going to have again, the pins activated, but we're going to have a little different setup. So instead of having zero values here, we're going to have something like one or two. I'm going to try, try one first. And so now, as you can see, it has this little um, gap here where we basically see the border that we've just added. So now what we can do is we can just round this corner. So it is perfectly rounded now. And this frame will be the BG. So the BG color of the actual button, it will be controlled from here. So maybe this button has like a little black color and it has its this nice, uh, you know, gradient border. So basically that's how we create a button that has a gradient border and yeah, we can also animate this. So if you want to have like an animated gradient border, we can just turn this button into a component. So right click, create component, create. And then we have this component canvas where we can add a hover state, for example. So let's click this button hover and we can change some things about the button here. So I'm going to click the border frame. Here we have this fill color, which is a gradient fill. And here we can just change this like this, just rotate the gradient. And now when we hover this button, we probably will see that animated gradient border. So basically that's the little workaround that you can uh, use if you really want to have gradient borders on your elements in Framer. I really do hope that this quick tutorial helped you in some way and make sure to subscribe and like this video. Also check out Framer University because I have a bunch of free lessons, resources, just like this. And yeah. 
I'm going to see you in the next one.